Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Maverick Base Designs and in this one I'm going to be showing you that you don't have to sacrifice style to obtain practicality. Now we need to get ourselves a little one by one down as a starter and if we put a small box there and then the TC we know that the TC will be in the right place for later on and we now want to extend this into a little three by one. and we can put a large loop room in here. Once our three by one starter is done, we can then move on to completing the first level. Now that that level's done and you can seal the bunker, you can move on up to the next floor. Now notice that these double door frames are going to be sitting on top of the shelves that we just placed. Thank you. 
Now it's important that you place these half walls and the connecting roofs between them before you place the slope roofs. Otherwise you will not get these half walls and the roofs in. Now the idea of this little sloped roof bit here in the very middle is just to stop raiders from getting access directly from one ladder hatch to the next. And as you can see here, we created another doorway which raiders have to go through.
And here we have our roof peaks and we can get access up there by just placing these uh, lights. And uh, once you get up here, you can clear your roof. Pew pew, pew pew. Now we're ready to make a start on the farm and if you notice here I'm putting a sprinkler in between each set of planters that are on shelves and you'll actually get water that will fill the whole cube to the left and the right of the sprinkler not just going down onto the floor. Um, it's an interesting set of physics and um, they're not quite the same as uh, reality but uh, you can exploit this and you can then have planters on shelves that get light and water even in the very corners. Now here's a farm I'd made earlier and if I take you into the corner you can see these plants are getting 100% light and 100% water and the same goes for underneath here. Make sure you place your lights like this either side of the sprinkler as well because uh, if you don't you won't get quite enough light into the uh, corners. You can place a bunker here on this farm level as well. Um, you don't need to if you want the extra space um, because you will lose a little, uh, a couple of rows basically of planters. But it's not a big deal and I'll leave it up to you. Um, it's going to be your base uh, that you've got to live in so you might not like the idea of having a bunker here. It might become too impractical for you and you can just rely on the ladder hatches above but uh, there is the option here which I'm showing. If you do go for the bunker option on your farm level, then you're gonna find that it's impossible to reach the planters here like this. So you're just gonna to need to put a little twig shelf in there and you'll, you'll have full access then to all of your plants for harvesting and planting. and placing the bunker on this level is as simple as this.
make sure you place this sleeping bag right in the very corner before you place your vending machine. This will give you the ability to spawn into that room after the vending machine has been placed. Now we're going to spawn into our bag and we're going to place a box here. Uh, you wouldn't be able to place this box before the vending machine, but you can place it after and it won't affect the machine at all. <laughs> 